All right, I'm back at you with some more high quality and well thought out content with my review of Madden NFL 24. Should you spend your money on it? Should you let your parents spend their money on it? Well, I'm going to do my best to answer that question right now. So a couple months ago, there was some hubbub from EA Sports basically saying that this is the make or break Madden and that jobs are on the line because for the past few years, people have been dunking all over the product. And, you know, let's let's keep it real. All right. If Madden had any confidence or even give a fuck in their product, they wouldn't need the exclusive rights to make simulation games. They're the only game on the fucking market. They're basically just serving us up a piss and shit buffet with updated rosters. And all of us, including myself, are just sitting there fucking eating it while the billionaire CEO sits there and laughs at us while counting his billions and billions of dollars while grabbing impressionable children by their ankles, hanging them upside down, shaking them down for their lunch money, and taking that while they buy Ultimate Team Packs. So in short, is the game better? No. It's not better. It's not ever going to get better. That's the reality of it. They make so much money. They have no incentive to get better. And am I part of the problem? Absolutely. But what do you want? I'm not the fucking advocate here. I'm just delivering the message. All right? Don't shoot the messenger. They're going to make billions either way. As kids grow up with the new age of Madden, they're just going to... They're going to play it either way, but let's discuss what actually is in this game. Well, there's not much to discuss. It's the same. And uh, I'm more of a gameplay kind of guy. All right. All that other shit is is, you could uh, change it however you want. But the gameplay is what matters most. How does it feel on the field? And it's pretty much exactly the same. However, I will say that new superstar mode with the threes, it's pretty fun, man. I'll sit there and play that shit for a couple hours. And I'm not saying that's going to entertain me for more than like two or three weeks. But I mean, from what I played so far, that's pretty fun to play your own character and and level them up. But other than that, like the on the field product, It's exactly the same as it was the past few years. And I'm in a bit of the minority here where I feel like things were okay around Madden 16 and 17 before they made the move to the Frostbite engine. And the reason is, is with the Unreal engine before, the physics was kind of a part of the game where it didn't feel like the same play was happening over and over again. For example, if I take Tyree Kill and run him on a streak and they have a safety covering it and I just throw the jump ball anyway, well, in real life, it's safe to assume a receiver like Tyree Kill would come up with a few of those. And in Madden 16... Even though maybe it was too often, it happened. The receiver would come up with those balls sometimes. Double coverage, it didn't matter. And is it unfair for the player if you're playing online, someone just fucking mosses you, you called the right play, you had the right defense, but their receiver just went up and got it anyway? Sure. I could see how that's unfair, but that shit happens in real life. And I like that to be replicated in the game a little better. And, you know, I I know there's proof, or like you could pull out proof where sometimes the player mosses the the DB, but 99% of the time you throw the shit into coverage, it's going to be an interception. I mean, every time you play the game online, both quarterbacks are in with a minimum of two interceptions. There's no punting. It's just, I don't know. There's not much to say about Madden NFL 24 other than I like to hop on the computer and play Madden 06 or 2K5, but that's because I'm a grouchy old man. 
So in short, should you spend your money on Madden 24? I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> Just like anyone else. If you want the fucking roster update, then you absolutely should spend your money because you don't have a fucking choice, pal. That's all you got. All right? Or I would I would actually say it like this. I would depend it on the financial situation. If it's between buying groceries or making rent and it's tight and getting mad in 24... I, I would pass on the Madden 24, but if you have the 100 bucks or 80 bucks to throw around, I don't give a fuck what you do with their mo- with your money. They're going to be billionaires anyway, so uh, I'm not going to be another person that comes on here and bitches about EA Sports, which I just did. I'm not making any sense anymore. I've become deluded and enraged. I'm old. I'm 25 and developing Alzheimer's. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. EA Sports shook me for a hundred bucks. I tried to justify it. I can't justify it. I'm out a hundred bucks. I'm pissed off and I need someone to yell at. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I forgot to add that they brought back mini games and the combine from games from like... 10 years ago or so, so if that does anything for you, get some blood going down to your meat, then that's great. Just figured I'd add that in there so I didn't forget it.